Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial in Canva. Before we get started, make sure to smash the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notified anytime I upload a new video. So, since we are already in Canva, let's roll the intro. Okay, so here we are in Canva and the first thing we are going to do as usual is to click on create a design and you can choose any dimension at all you want to use. I already have mine open. Okay, so this is what I already have. Okay, and in this um, tutorial, I would highly recommend you get a Taekwondo image or something of that sort and you can find such images from Repick. You can also find some from um, PNG Guru and you can also find some from google but just make sure um it's a free image you are using okay so i already have my images uploaded here in um in canva okay and um, i switched to one of my friends uh canva pro account okay so i added it here but i don't know why it's happened so um we will need the same okay images but we would make duplicates okay so you can see this the same images of course you know it's obvious and um with one of them we are going to remove the background okay so since my friend has a canva pro and i'm just going to you know just pitch a little bit why not let's just take off the background okay so the background of our image has been removed okay and um we'll just crop it a little bit so you can see we have to different variations so now what are we going to do we have to go into element and we will search for um you know the frames so we'll go into frames and we'll scroll down awesome so you scroll down until you find this um you know alphabet okay as you know alphabetical frames if i should put it okay yeah so we can use any of them at all we want to use so depending on which one you want to use i'm thinking of um which one to use so i think i would go for the l okay you can use any other one at all you want to use but um we just want to be able to make sure that anyone we are using um, we can still see the letter okay the alphabet and also you know combine it with our image and all of that so I spoke of the L, but I'm thinking of a change of mind. I'm having a change of mind at the moment. So what I can do is I can have maybe the Z. Okay, I'll use this one instead. So I just make it bigger and I center it. And I'll drag the image in our frame. Okay, and I just move it here. And I can make it bigger. Okay. So something of this, you know, something like this. Okay, so let's make a thing more bigger and i would right click and send it to the back okay so now what you have to do is make sure you don't drag it over otherwise it will replace our um you know it will place the original image we've pasted it in so i would just have to make it bigger okay and increase the size more okay so you can see what i'm trying to do i'm using my arrow keys to make sure everything arranges beautifully in our um thing so and i reduce the size okay so you just have to make sure it's positioned perfectly okay so you can see how it's ha what's happening over here so i reduce it more and i use my arrow keys okay to adjust things a little bit then I reduce, okay. Because now the only thing is you have to adjust and adjust and adjust till um, everything fits perfectly. Okay, you can see yes, it's fitting perfectly now. Okay. Okay, so I think it's looking very cool now. Fantastic, fantastic. Okay, so then I can now reduce the size and I'm liking this already. Okay, so 
this is what we have at the moment so the next thing we are going to do is to change the background color and i'll change it to something like um a yellow would have been a very strong color no i'll use a yellow okay and i'm going to use um this color code so flb800 awesome then what i'm going to do next is to add some text okay so i would press to my keyboard and i'll go on here and there's this font called horizon h o r i z o n okay awesome that's what i'm going to use for my text okay so i'll say um and okay so i'm just say kung fu master okay kung fu uh, master I don't know if it's just kung fu, but I think there's taekwondo or something of that sort. You know, these Chinese. Um, I think taekwondo is from China. I'm not so sure, but one of them is from China, and one is from Japan. Okay, I'm not so sure at the moment, but yeah, just just pardon me, even if I'm mistaken. Okay, so you can see this is the font we are trying to use, but we just need to position it, you know, at a point where um, would would favor us. Okay, so um if this font is, is not working we can always change font okay but i think it's not even working for me just sorry about that um let me go in to find you know a strong font we can we can we can use this one looks cool okay so with the choice of font you really have to um Make sure any font you are using just adds up to anything at all um, you are designing okay because once everything is working together it makes your design look very very good okay so i'm looking for, okay so let me see this okay this is looking good to me i i i want to go with this okay so yeah what i'm going to do now is um i can adjust okay then i okay then i group my photo okay then i can bring it to the bottom here and i can clear this out and um, i'll increase the size okay so i'll position it down here and i'll send it to the back okay so you can see we have kung fu blah 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 so i'll duplicate it several times okay i'm going to position this here and position this one also here okay then with these ones i'm going to reduce the transparency to somewhere like five okay yeah and this one also the same five and this one also the same to five then i select all and right click and send them to the back okay so they are at the back at the moment okay then the next thing i'm going to do is to um add a second text okay so with that i can just press t on my keyboard and i'll change this to um you know just search for another font that would fit so that would be a secondary font okay so i am just looking through to find something that can work well with what we are trying to um to to achieve okay okay so i'm using the object sans okay then i can just say something simple maybe uh, I, I used to be in the cadet and we had something like saying um one man one bullet so i was just say one man one punch okay okay so one man one punch um hard training <laughs> easy battle okay yeah 
and if you don't even know what I'm talking about, I know yes, if you haven't been in a cadet or you know something that has been you know, that requires some sort of intensive training, so it's it's totally fine. Okay, I've been in uh, some of these things before, so I can really understand <laughs> some of these things. Okay, so yeah, I'll just increase the size and I'll reduce the line spacing. Then I can, you know, rotate it this way. So I can also select this, okay, and I can rotate it five. Select this one five, okay, five, and then um, the last one five, okay. So you can see what we are trying to do um right now then the next thing i'm going to do is to add um some sort of shapes and stuff like that so i'll just select line okay just press l on my keyboard for line and i'll select this to the you know i can use um the dotted or the dash and i can get the line height something like this and uh, i would use the width and maybe reduce the um, you know the weight a little bit then I can position this here and change the color to white okay so that's all you need to do then we duplicate and put this here duplicate again and put it here and duplicate again and put it here so this is what we have at the moment and um, I would mm, group it all and reduce the transparency okay so this is something you can do you can choose to do it or not it really depends if you want to um you know have some fancy um looking design okay okay so i think right now we've really um done a lot of the things we need to do so maybe you want to add social media stuff you know icons and stuff like that what you can do is you can um, position it. I don't know how you're going to do it, but if I want to, I wouldn't do it because you know it just sounds like it will look too funny to me in a way. But this is the entire thing I just wanted to demonstrate. I wouldn't go with social media stuff this time around. But if you want to, that's fine. And with this, you can use several. Um, how do you call it? You can use several alphabet at all any alphabet at all you want to um, use you can use it but just make sure that um, your font and the things you special element you'll be adding should all you know correspond and should enhance your final design okay so this is what I wanted to show you in this tutorial and I hope you found it helpful you found this little tips and tricks very um, you know helpful and the thing is you can also um, come up with your design and tag me okay on instagram my name is african geek so you can do it and tag me you can share it with me and i'll be glad to see whatever you come up with the name has always been benjamin and i will see you in my next video